Yo, what up, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video. As y'all seen by the title, bro, I'm finna tell y'all the power of acceptance. A lot of people problem ain't problem, bro. A lot of people problem is accepting stuff. You feel me? So in today's video, bro, let's be real, bro. Let's get straight to it, man. Bro, some things you just gotta accept, bro. Like, it's that something you gotta accept some shit. Like, bro, everybody and everything ain't gonna go perfectly your way in life, bro. But a lot of people think is this, bro. The first step to getting to, to resolution to a problem is understanding that there is a problem. A lot of people be like, nah, ain't nothing wrong with my life. Ain't nothing wrong with my life. Nah, my girl not cheating on me. Like, the proof in, the, in your face, like, you know something wrong with your life. You hate waking up every morning. All this bad stuff happening. You you understand this. You understand this girl ain't no good for you. You know that she cheating on you. She texting you back late every day. Uh, she talking to dudes in front of your face. Like, bro, a lot of time, bro, God will show you the issue. God will show you the issue. God, life, the universe, whatever you believe in will show you the problem. And, 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 we'll, and it will be right in your face. It will show it right in your face. It will unravel and reveal things right in your face. But your dumb ass just want to, your ass won't, you won't accept it. Your dumb ass just won't accept it, bro. It's hard. It's not even hard to put words on. I don't know why I can't even put words on it right now. Because it's so simple, bro. You just won't accept it. Like, if you accept shit for what it is, bro, then you can move accordingly. But you living in fantasy and shit. You lying to yourself. You don't get nothing from lying to yourself. All you do is lie to yourself. Nah, this cool. Nah, I'm not out of, nah, I'm straight. I'm not out of shape. I don't need to go to the gym. Nah, bro, she not cheating on me. She really with her friend all night. She really just got drunk and went home and laid down. She didn't go get banged out by that dude that I've been begging her to unfollow. But she telling me she not going to unfollow him. I, nah, I'm not like perfectly fine. I'm not a, I'm not getting on my ass all day doing nothing. Like, bro, you got to accept that you're wrong, bro. That's the first step. As a man, as a woman, as a one day going to be a man, one day going to be a woman. Because a lot of people excuse me, oh, I'm still young. Oh, I'm like, I'm a teenager. I got time. You don't got that, bro. You come on, dog. That is no excuse. At the end of the day, you a grown man or a grown woman. But one day, you're going to be a grown man or a grown woman. That simple, bro. And if you can't accept things for what they is, then you will never progress in life and you will never become better in life because you ain't even finished step one. After you realize there's a problem, after you say, okay, she cheating on me. Okay, um, okay, I'm out of shape. Okay, um, my life ain't the best right now. When you accept them things, then you can fix the problem. You can't even fix the problem because you won't even accept that there is a problem, bro. Okay, I'm addicted to this. I'm addicted to that. Accept it. Accept it, bro. See, real men and real women, bro, they're going to point out their flaws. They're going to point out where they wrong at, and they, then they're going to fix it. You feel me? So we're not even talking about fixing the problem yet. We're just talking about accepting it, bro. You feel me? You can never grow in life until you accept stuff. Now, there's two types of acceptance you need to do, bro. The first acceptance, bro, is two types of situations. Accepting a situation that you cannot change and dealing with it and understanding. Okay, like, just say you're insecure about your forehead, bro. I'm insecure about my forehead, man. You feel me? What can I do about it? I can't really do nothing about it. God gave me this big ass head. So shit, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna thug it out and then I'm gonna embrace it. Damn, I don't like my feet. They they big as shit. I look like an L. It's cool. I'ma just laugh at it. God gave me them for a reason. That's how you gotta look at it. That's the first acceptance you can do. Or number two type of acceptance is oh damn, she cheating on me. You accept it. And then you be like, alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna break up with it. See, so there are two types of things you could do. Number one, the first type of acceptance, bro, is accepting shit that you have no control over and you can do nothing about and just being okay with it or making the best out of it. You feel me? And the number two acceptance is, okay, I don't like this, I don't like that, and accepting it and then changing some shit about it. Okay, she cheating on me, I'm finna break up with her ass. Okay, I'm out of shape, I'm finna hit the gym. Okay, my money low, I gotta find some ways to get some bread in my pocket. You feel me, bro? So there's two types of acceptances, bro. You feel me, bro? And both are great. You could do both. You feel me? For different situations, though. You feel me? Every situation different. So that's why I'm trying to ba balance both out. You feel me? I'm trying to tell you ones that you can control and ones that you can't control. But either one, the first step is accepting it. Like, a lot of people live in the fantasy to make themselves feel better. But actually, it ain't really helping you, dog. It ain't really helping you. It's just making you feel better right then. But the pain will come right back when you when your head tell you your real situation. Like, let's just say this. Just say... Um, this girl cheating on you. You know this girl cheating on you. You know that what, what's really going on, and you just lying to yourself every time that thought come. But every time that thought come, you dismiss it and you lie about it and you never deal with it. A lot of people run from their problems. Now nah, you got to stand right there, look at your, your look at your problems in their face, and not move and deal with them. You feel me, bro? Like a lot of people gonna run from their problems, run away, and then look back. The problem still running out there. Dang, run, run, run. Dang, it's still running out to me. Run, run, run. It's still running out to me. It's because you need to deal with it, bro. 
You feel me? Running from it ain't going to do nothing because it's just going to chase you. It's just going to hunt you. So all you got to do is turn around, look at it, and battle it, bro. It's kind of like a bully, bro. A bully going to keep coming up to you. A bully going to keep picking on you, bro, until you handle it. You feel me? And honestly, bro, it's really you. It's a you versus you thing because if you don't accept things, bro, that's you. You living in denial, bro. And that's one of the worst places to be in because you're living in delusion. You're not accepting stuff for what it really is and you will never get better or you will never grow until you accept. How you gonna become better or how you gonna get better and get in shape if you don't even understand or you're not even accepting that you out of shape? You feel me, bro? How you gonna how you gonna stop being addicted to being your junk or being on certain websites or doing something, but you don't even accept that you're addicted to it? You feel me? Like, how you going to leave this girl and break up with her if you're not even accepting the fact that she's cheating on you? You feel me, bro? So the first step is accepting it, bro. And then you can grow. And then, okay, yeah, it may not be easy. It may not be a, a beautiful process. But at the end of the day, growing is pain, bro. When you work out, it hurt. But your muscles growing. You getting stronger. You getting stronger. You feel me? Anything in life actually is going to always be uncomfortable if it's good for you. You feel me? So stop lying to yourself. Stop telling yourself lies. Stop feeding yourself all this BS and accept stuff for what it is and take the next step to handling the situation. Because that's what you need to do as a grown man or a grown woman. Or one day going to be a grown man or a grown woman. That's how you handle business right there. You feel me? Them the type of people that you want to be and be around right there. The people that's going to understand that there's a problem. Okay, look, man, we human. We go through emotions. Yes, you can complain for a little bit. You can trip out for a little bit. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you cannot stay on that jump for too long, accept it, and keep it pushing. Dang, she cheated on me. Dang, I was hurt. Dang, that jump hurt me. That one hurt me for real. You complain about it. You tell your close people, your family, your friends, whoever that you feel comfortable with. You complain to them about it a little bit. But at the end of the day, before you go to sleep that night, you got to tell yourself, okay, I did my complaining. I did my weeping. I did my little sorrow or whatever. Somebody been through this just like I've been through this. I'm going to get through this. I'm, when I go to bed in the morning, I'm gonna, I mean, when I go to bed tonight, I'm going to wake up in the morning and I'm going to use this as motivation and I'm going to keep it pushing. That's how you got to move. But, hey, man, this is just a little deeper video, you feel me? I make a lot of different types of videos. I make funny videos, like story times. Then I got a little advice videos. Then I got, like, real life videos like this, you feel me? I make a bunch of different type of videos, you feel me? And you don't want to miss out on none of them, honestly. So make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on post notice. If you ain't following me on Instagram, bro, you feel me? Go follow me on there. Or if you need, like, personal talk or advice or something like that, hit me up on there. If y'all want, like, a public video or y'all want another video, just let me know some ideas in the comments. We finna hit 10K real soon. Hey, look, man, if you made it this far, you might as well give me a thumbs up. You feel me? It's free. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. You, you have to enjoy if you made it this far. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to catch y'all next time. Hey.